Hello, and welcome to another birdsincanberra.com video, where you can see photos and clips of some of the wonderful wildlife I have been fortunate enough to record. I hope you like what you're about to see. The month of April means it is autumn in Canberra, so days are getting shorter and the weather's getting cooler. In this video, I do want to focus on one subject, but on a number of things I've seen around Canberra such as these black swans who swam past me one morning after I've been out for a kayak on Lake Belly Griffin. As you can see, no concerns about being close to humans. So it was really enjoyable just getting a quick shot of them. I was able to record this male superb fairy wren at Aranda Bushland Nature Reserve. I just love the blue of these birds. This one flew almost exactly to where I was pointing the camera at, so it was very easy to get this film of him. This male gangan cockatoo was one of about six gangan cockatoos that I saw one morning on Red Hill Nature Reserve. As you can hear in the background, they were all calling to each other. I love photographing these birds, especially the male because of that beautiful red crown in his head. Rainbow lorikeets always remind me of growing up in Sydney as a boy because we constantly had these beautiful birds around our house. I saw these two adults on a branch, then they flew off. I thought they had gone to this hollow, but later on listening to the recording, I could hear, but in fact this bird was probably a juvenile. And if you listen, you can hear almost a plaintive call asking for food. I saw this single galah sitting in a tree, but below him, I presume her, his partner, was doing her best to chew at the dead wood exposed in this tree. You can hear the noise of her beak actually chewing into the wood, and it just reminds you, in fact, how strong their beaks can be. Undoubtedly, one of my most captivating sightings of April was of this family of Australian wood ducks, a very common species of bird around Canberra. They started off in the reeds nearby where I was photographing, and it was a beautiful sunny day so I had no problems with exposure or any of the camera settings, so I was just able to enjoy photographing them. There was about 16 ducklings in this family, and they were happy swimming around and I was really happy just being able to photograph them. Eastern grey kangaroos are also a very common animal around Canberra, but I still enjoy photographing them because you're never quite sure what you're going to see. I came across this young female and it looked like she was having a real struggle just trying to get into the day. She looked like she just wanted to have a, a sleep in and it was actually a really funny time watching her. At the other end of the activity spectrum were these young males who were just starting to practice their fighting and it's an important skill they will need because when they get older they will have to fight in order so they can secure females for breeding. 
and you can see these two we're just sort of going at it but it's a great way to see how the kangaroos actually fight and if you listen towards the end you can actually hear a noise that kangaroos make While I only had a very brief encounter with this male, I really just liked the way the sunlight was playing off his fur. One day, I was practicing around home with my macro lens in order to get comfortable with its settings. I was looking for a live subject to practice on when I came across this female leaf killing spider. And I was really happy because later on she came out just far enough from her leaf so I was able to see some color on her. Finally, also around home, I came across this forced garden mantid. I was so happy. I had been looking for a mantis to photograph for a long time. I think they are just fantastic photographic subjects with their really interesting face and those pseudo pupils. I really enjoyed photographing this one. <laughs> 